YouTube? I got another yo-yo review to do. This is the Yo-Yo Freaks Pound. Um, so I did an unboxing of this. You can watch it if I remember to link it up here. It'll come across in a little tab or maybe if you I don't know. It'll show up somewhere. And uh, I did an unboxing and basically by the time I got it, they had already been sold out. Uh, there's only a hundred of these and uh, I have one. So I uh, kind of waited a little while to review it, but figured I wanted to get it reviewed before the next Yo-Yo Freaks Yo-Yo comes out. Now, for those of you who don't yo, no, don't yo, that's funny. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Yo-Yo Freaks is a company that is owned and sort of, I guess, run by JD. Not run by, not I guess, it is. It's run by JD uh, over at Yo-Yo Best Buy. See Yo-Yo Best Buy stickers, you get all the cool stuff. Yo-Yo Hype, Yo-Yo Freaks. See all that? Anyway, uh, JD runs this, and he designs these yo-yos, I think with a couple of his friends. Um, and basically, they're all a sort of similar shape. Uh, I believe this is the third one that's come out this year. Uh, the first one was the Your Mom, which was a very similar type of shape. It was actually, just from the pictures, it looked a lot closer to the uh, Barracuda. It was a mono metal. Um, but it was a little more rounded than the Barracuda or the Aviator. But it was this similar kind of like organic H-shape type of thing. Uh, so a very good shape. A uh, shape I am very partial to. Uh, as you guys know, I have bunches of yo-yos that are shaped like this. Uh, I didn't jump on the Your Mom. That's funny too. Uh, I didn't jump on Your Mom. I probably should have. Uh, I sort of regret it now because uh, I was trying to get one and I've had no luck. So uh, that doesn't usually happen. So I'm sort of sad I missed out on that one. The second one was the hashtag. It was a smaller bimetal version of this. Smaller yo-yos aren't necessarily my thing. Uh, and I did get the chance to play one. It was fine. It was great. It, it played very well, but it was a small bimetal and that, those aren't my thing. So I didn't buy one. Um, but when the pound came out, I saw that it was more or less a sort of refined edgier looking uh, your mom that was a bimetal. Uh, there is a bimetal ring in there. The unknown version, which is the one I got, has a blackened ring as well, which is really cool. Um, but uh, let's get into the specs before I continue to talk about it. So uh, this is Yo-Yo Freaks. Uh, the diameter is 55.5 millimeters. It has a 4.5 millimeter gap width, which is becoming very standard. Uh, now, actually, we were just talking about this at Yo-Yo Club. Uh, 4.5 millimeter gap width becoming very standard. Uh, standard 19 millimeter CBC slim pads uh, weighs in at 66.6 grams. I feel like that was done on purpose. Um, a little heavy for a bimetal, but that's still cool. Uh, with 45.15 millimeters, which is pretty wide uh, as far as yo-yos are concerned. Now, I guess the yo-yos are getting wider now, uh, so not too terribly. Not too terribly wide there, but uh, it is a bimetal, and I believe these were $67, something like that. 60 some bucks, uh, which it, it just, it, it's super cheap. I mean, this easily stacks up with most $100 bimetals, and uh, they sold at like 60 some dollars. I'm pretty sure 100 of them, all 100 of them sold out in the first, eat within the first night. Um, they were all gone before the morning, so I jumped on one pretty quick. Uh, right as they dropped, and I even think a couple colorways were already sold out when I grabbed this one. But this one I think was my second favorite colorway. Um, but now that I've got it, and it's it was probably my first favorite anyway. So uh, super loving this color, uh, and I really like this yo-yo. It's a really good yo-yo. Um, it's very how do I put this? It's very like it's kind of a yo-yo that you kind of can look at it and go like I've played yo-yos that look like that. I have an idea of how it's going to play. Um, as I showed you, it's a pretty similar type of shape to the Barracuda and to the Aviator 2. Um, I would say the feel on the string uh, and the way the weight distribution works is very similar to the way the Aviator 2 feels and plays. However, this being a bimetal, it's much more stable, spins much longer, and uh, just overall performs better than the Aviator 2 would, but has a very similar feel to the Aviator. Um, those of you who've watched my channel for a long time know that I rave about the Aviator. I really, really like it. Uh, very often they blow it out at like 20 bucks. In fact, I think there's a pretty cool colorway on, um, uh, th I think there's actually a cool colorway up on Yo-Yo Factory right now that's, it's on their website that's like a splash color for like 45. Um, but 
Aviator 2 uh, one, has been one of my favorite Yo-Yo Factories since I got it, which has been a long time now, uh, probably over a year. And, um, you know, so this is sort of a very, like, souped up, refined version of this shape of Yo-Yo. Uh, and I have been really enjoying the heck out of it. Uh, there is a little hole here for... That if you can get your finger in there, it locks in really well and you get really long finger spins. But it does kind of curve up on the outsides, so you really have to sort of try to get your finger in there. Uh, the one side is engraved, the other side is not, which is neat. Um, and uh, that's enough of me raving about it. Let's go throw it around a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, we are back with the Yo-Yo Freaks Pound. Uh, so... The pound is, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's, because it is like a little bit heavy for a bimetal at 66 grams, uh, it's incredibly stable. Like, you're going to be like, this, this is kind of almost too stable. Uh, it's a little bit wide as well, uh, which is nice. I've actually been really liking wider yo-yos lately, uh, and this has been really kind of very good for like learning tricks and working on tricks and smacking into your hand if you're not paying attention and trying to talk at the same time while you throw. Um, but, uh, you know, overall it's been kind of a really fun yo-yo to play with. Uh, I kind of feel, I sort of got this in the middle of getting a ton of yo-yos. And uh, it maybe didn't get all the, uh, didn't get all the play that it probably deserved. But uh, as you can see, even if you mess up, it just keeps spinning and stays on plane. Uh, Kai Zizan actually likes to see you a lot for Double Dragon. Uh, he's used it a ton. In fact, I think I put up at some point a video of him doing Double Dragon, probably in one of the SW Randall vlogs, and he was using this yo-yo. Um, so every time I bring it to Yo-Yo Club, it ends up being uh, stolen for that. Not stolen, because I clearly still have it. But uh, it ends up being occupied by Kai and his double dragon strings. Which is fine. That's why you bring yo-yos to the yo-yo club, so you can play with each other's yo-yos. Um, but as far as uh, grinding on this thing is concerned, the uh, power and the bimetal is just great for it. I mean, spins forever. It's got a really nice grind finish. Um, very kind of similar to the yo-yo factory ones, but it feels like it's like a little smoother. Uh, so, very good grind finish. Uh, Kind of a between, you know, the sort of grittier like Yo-Yo Factory finish and the that blasting and the uh, the like smoother CLYW. So sort of in between there, which is very good. Uh, it looks really good too. Like that's a really clean, good look. Uh, at least on mine, uh, and I have the solid black one. So uh, very good for that. Uh, thumb grind lip is also. Great, big, easy to catch, no problems. Uh, so yeah, big thumb grind lip there. And because the ring is in the aluminum, like it's set in there, like on some uh, some of the two six stuff, uh, there's no like metal ring to like drag across your fingernail and like feel terrible. So I really like that. Um, as far as finger spins are concerned, uh, I kind of suck at getting my finger in there. That's not exactly how I do finger spins. Like I don't. Boop, it right on, but uh, I'll see if I can do it. Let's flip it around to the unengraved side. Oh, almost had it. No, missed. Second time's a charm, right? I'll try it second time. No, I missed, but... Finger spins great, especially if you can get it right into that little cup. It'll just go. Um, if you miss the cup, though, you sort of fall into this, like, you just kind of wobble out, which is what happened to me. I don't finger spin all that much, but, uh, so that doesn't, that's not a big thing for me. But if you do, you'll really like this for finger spins once you get used to it, because you'll be able to pull off some really, really long ones. Um, as far as smoothness is concerned, if you don't smack it off your wedding ring, uh... Mine's been pretty much that, this smooth the whole time. It's about 9 out of 10, which is pretty common for bimetals. Uh, I'd say it's about as smooth as my Navigator or my uh, any of the other Yo-Yo Factory 
by metals I've I've played, so it's sort of, you know, in the smoothness realm of where the hundred dollar buy metals are, but it's not a hundred dollars, which is great. Well, it wasn't anyway. Can't get them now, so but it was great value while it was up, which is probably why they all sold out like. But uh, yeah, super fun yo-yo, super good shape, um, and I believe there's gonna be more shapes kind of coming like this from uh, from yo-yo freaks. They're all gonna kind of be this sort of rounded off H shape. Um, so basically, what you're gonna get is just sort of different ones. There's a mono metal that's a similar shape. There's an undersized that's a similar shape. This is a bi metal that's a similar shape, and then whatever the next one is probably is is gonna also be a similar shape. So um, definitely cool. Definitely worth keeping an eye out for uh, Yo-Yo Freak stuff, especially if you're a fan of these uh, sort of organic ace shapes like I am. But uh, let's throw it on the desk, we'll take it apart, and we'll do pros and cons. And we are back with the Yo-Yo Freaks pound. Um, so like I said, you can get, you can, you could, these drop on Yo-Yo Best Buy, basically, when the Yo-Yo Freak stuff drops. That's the only place you can get it, because it's JD's. Um, I don't know if I made that clear enough before, because it's JD's company. You can buy them on his site from him. When they drop, and then that's all. They're a hundred series, which means there's a hundred of them, and then they're gone. So that's probably why I'm having such a hard time getting the uh, your mom. But uh, let's take it apart. So uh, in there is that five cut um, Buddha bearing. It's kind of like the Pixel, but uh, this actually performs a lot better and is a lot quiet. It's very quiet. Uh, this is probably the best five cut bearing I've ever played with. It's so good. Um, super smooth, super silent, just all around good bearing. So it comes with a, that great, uh, that great bearing, which is amazing. So, uh, huge, uh, kudos there has the, uh, pads that I love the smoky ones. The like the clear, but they're not totally clear. They're like kind of frosted looking, um, comes with those pads, which is awesome. As you can see, I pulled it apart. There's like engraving on the inside. Uh, it's the definition of pound, which is cool. Uh, very cool. I'll try to look see if it said anything dirty, um, but it doesn't. So that's good. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that's that. A uh, little stainless steel axle. Uh, you could tune it a little bit. So got mine all tuned up there. And uh, as you can see, mine's hit my ring. You heard it hit my ring. It's hit my ring a few times. So I have a little couple little pings and dings in mine. But the machining is very good. Uh, it's not exactly one drop quality, but it's it's pretty darn close. Uh, it's it. It unscrews very smoothly, very nicely. Um, a little tighter there at the end, and then but there's no like squeak or anything taking it apart. So uh, very nicely machined yo-yo. Um, I mean, overall a premium product. You saw me do the unboxing. Uh, I like it a lot, and the for the price, I mean, it's it, they're awesome. Uh, so definitely, definitely something. I like I said, I sort of am very sad that I missed out on the year mom. But uh, I won't be missing out on other ones that catch my eye from here on out. So I've learned my lesson. Uh, let's do pros and cons. So pros, great finish. I know that's always my first pro for stuff like this. But, uh, you know, Yo-Yo Company's really been getting that, you know, I want to do grinds. And they've been putting great finishes on Yo-Yos. And uh, I've been very happy with it. So um, good grind finishes make me happy. This makes me happy. Uh, other pros, this is a really cool little finger spin thing. So many yo-yos are like meant to make finger spins very easy and whatever. This is like if you're really good at it, you can pull off a super long finger spin. But if you screw it up, you're in trouble. Um, clearly, I screw it up, but um, you can do it. So it's not like a design. It's not designed around doing finger spins, but it gives you the option uh, to do it. I don't know. Kind of a cool challenge type thing. Uh, I've gotten good long ones, but I don't like to edit, so I'm not going to sit there and throw the yo-yo for 10 minutes till I get a great finger spin out of it. So, there you go. Uh, but very, uh, very cool. Uh, I like that. I like that it's not, like, supposed to be four finger spins, but you can do them, and you could do them really well if you're good enough. And that kind of, that's intriguing to me. I like that. Um... Like I said, the bearing is great. This is one of the, I usually I don't comment on the bearing, but this is one of the like the best bearings that's ever come in a yo-yo that I've just got stock. Um, so I'm I'm a huge fan. I like this bearing. I, I I would imagine all the other ones. This is the only yo-yo freaks one that I have, but I think that's what he puts in all the other ones. So great bearing. Um, thumb grind lip, super easy. 
Uh, the shape is great. Uh, it's definitely a shape that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, so great shape, uh, but it's still different from everything else. Uh, I like that it's a little wider than most of these rounded H shapes are. Uh, that's also really, really good. It, it really kind of makes the yo-yo a little bit easier uh, to handle and a little bit easier to catch, um, which is great. Uh, any other pros? Uh, I mean, the price? Jeez. I mean, these were like, I know they sold out like that, but they were, this was super cheap um, for what it is. I mean, it competes with Yo-Yo's $40 ahead of its price tag, so can't really fault it for anything like that. Amazing, amazing value. Uh, is what is is basically what I got to say about that. Amazing value, and um, cons. As far as cons are concerned, uh, it's a touch heavy for a bimetal. Sixty six point six grams is kind of heavy for a bimetal, but it's pretty wide, and the weight distribution is such that it doesn't play that heavy. Uh, it's not the speediest yo yo of all time, but it can certainly go. Um, but for me, uh, you know, I would have kind of wished it was a little bit lighter. Uh, particularly because it's a bimetal, but I mean, it still plays amazingly and you still get uber long spin times, super stability and, and everything like that. So, uh, I'd say that's probably one of the only cons, uh, that I can think of really. Um, I mean, everything else is pretty much right on par with everything you would want. Um, even the weight's not bad. I mean, it's 66.6 grams and I think that was sort of done on purpose. So... Uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, which is, it's just fun and funny to me. So that's awesome. Um, but, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's it guys. That's the Yo-Yo Freaks Pound. Um, if you can get them used on the BST, uh, and you have the opportunity to do that, I suggest you do it because you'll probably like it. Uh, and in the off chance that you don't like it, somebody else is going to want it. So you're not going to have a hard time getting rid of it. So, uh. That's it, guys. Yo, your freaks pound. Make sure you check it out if you get the opportunity to. But thanks so much for watching today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more yo yo content. I do this stuff pretty much every day. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you, and I will see you next time. And my voice cracked. Yeah, it happened. Oh, well, whatever. Peace out.